Howdy. Computer news. I'm not a computer person, I don't know anything about computers. Oxford physicist unloads on quantum computing industry. Says it's basically a hype bubble. In essence, the quantum computing industry has yet to demonstrate any practical utility. Seriously though, Oxford quantum physicist Nikita Gurianov tore into the quantum computing industry this week, comparing the fanfare around the tech to a financial bubble in a searing commentary piece for the Financial Times. In other words, he wrote, it's far more hype than substance. It's a scathing, but also perhaps insightful analysis of a bourgeoning field at the very least still has a lot to prove. Cashing in, despite billions of dollars being poured into quantum computing, Gorinov argues the industry has yet to develop a single product that is actually capable of solving practical problems. This means his firms are collecting orders of magnitude more in financing than they are able to earn in actual revenue, a growing bubble that could eventually burst. The little revenue that they generate mostly comes from consulting missions aimed at teaching other companies about how quantum computers will help their businesses. Gurianov wrote for the FT. As opposed to genuinely harnessing any advantages that quantum computers have over classical computers. Any contemporary quantum computers are also so error prone that any information one tries to process with them will almost instantly degenerate into noise, he wrote, which scientists have been trying to overcome for years. Gurianov also took aim at other assumptions about the field, arguing that fears over quantum computers being able to crack even the securest of cryptographic schemes are overblown. Notably, the piece comes just weeks after a group of researchers found that the conventional computer was indeed able to rival Google's um, Psychomore quantum computer. <laughs> undermining the tech giant's 2019 claims of having achieved quantum supremacy. Pure hype. Despite the industry less than stellar results, investors are still funneling untold sums into quantum computer ventures. In essence, the quantum computer industry has yet to demonstrate any practical utility despite the fanfare. Guerianov wrote. Why is then so much money flowing in? Well, it is mainly due to the fanfare. The money, he argues, is coming from investors who typically don't have any understanding of quantum physics, while taking senior position in companies and focusing solely on generating fanfare. In short, Kurianov believes it's only a matter of time until the bubble will pop and the funding will dry up at which point it's already too late. So, yeah, computers are really useful. We can watch weather programs and all kinds of things. But after all, it's the responsibility of each individual to think for itself. Gather information and think for yourself. The quantum computing industry is as much a bubble as, for example, dark matter science, like CERN in Switzerland, the most expensive thing ever built. What do they found? Or what, what did they... Did they found anything of what they were searching? No. And I have been doing this video some time ago. This is so in a way proof how far off reality some scientists are. 
there is uh, there was news about power shortages possible power shortages coming and what do those scientists do they fire CERN up and they use an, an incredible amount of electricity without electricity there's no CERN working and they still haven't found anything there is also very much money going into that what's the practical use of that thing there's not really any practical use and they won't find anything ever what they are searching for even if they would have a quantum computer which would work but it doesn't CERN doesn't work probably it works how they are doing it or what they think but the results just don't match up it's just very expensive and they just don't find anything but they continue and they get more money but we are at a point in time where things start to change so there are probably some certain scientists which are growing their own food in their yard but they probably don't know why like how to put it because they are still searching for black holes and these kind of things so these are very interesting times don't trust computers gather your information make your own thoughts about it and think for yourself because if you have gathered knowledge and you start to understand things no one can take it away from you anymore and if you read about whatever nature things and use still the internet we have and all the knowledge which is available compare it to the sky you have above your head learn try to learn to read the sky it might be advanceful in the future because I expect they were like windy, for example. How long do we still have the possibility to enjoy such things as the application windy? I use it every day many times. But it's not going to be there forever. Once the only possibility to know about the weather is watch by yourself if you can go outside and if it's not possible look out of the window that's what you're gonna know about the weather because there is no internet probably because internet is also heavily heavily relied on electricity now they're just talking about the electricity shortages there will be maybe some news about internet shortages as well for whatever reason there could be submarine volcanic eruptions happening somewhere and the cable is going broke some solar flare take some grids down earthquakes destroy some whatever facility so don't trust on the internet being there until the end but anyway got stuff to do and i just thought it's somehow very interesting and very important that finally someone talked about quantum computing i haven't read anything about quantum computing like which would have been this kind of yeah finally we got it now it works and it's the best thing ever i haven't seen any kind of this but this article 
seems to be very important. And also, I think there's many people working in the quantum computing industry. And many of those are probably very wealthy. Or they have been until now. Their lives might also change when people start to realize that, yeah, it doesn't work actually. You're just talking, commercialing, fantasize, and pull the money out of the pockets. Empty promises all the way along. But anyway, I think I'll leave it here. Thanks.